Hello, welcome back to our series, Behind the Scenes of Nautilus. I'm Commander Brad Boyd, Director of Submarine Force Museum and Officer in Charge of Historic Ship Nautilus. This episode, we're going into the galley and into the storerooms. Now, previous episodes, we went into storerooms for parts. That was the one in the Chief's Quarters where I'm sitting now, the one in Crew's Mess uh, behind me as, as I'm speaking to you. Uh, this one is for dry food and then also has the freezer and the chill box or freezer refrigerator uh, down there. If you have any questions, please let us know. With that, on with the tour. All right, so so we leave Chief's Quarters, we come back into Crew's Mess, and uh, we'll turn left real fast and uh, go past. Uh, so by the way, this is a storeroom um, entrance hatch. Uh, it's one of two, so remember this, you'll see it from the bottom side in a little bit. Other one being uh, right there, that's the one we're gonna go down. These hatches are normally shut to keep people from accidentally you know, falling down in there. Um, so we're gonna come to the galley. So by the way, the Navy doesn't really move anywhere without coffee, uh, much like, uh, and it's definitely submarines as well. So uh, coffee is always center and foremost uh, in a ship's design in areas. And then you've got uh, cup holders here. So either if you're gonna get the coffee from right here or uh, the bug juice, uh, the Kool-Aid uh, from uh, just around the corner or water or uh, milk, what have you, uh, the crew can always have access to cups to get that type of stuff without having to really bug the cooks for it as they prep the meals. Um, so you see in this small space here, you have food prep on this side, and we'll go over here in just a second. That's the actual, uh, where they did the dishes type side. Uh, so you've got a range, uh, about two of them right here. So one here, one there. You have a warmer here, which is where you can actually um, make bread. Submarines, by the way, there's no, it's not an uh, accident that we have bread feature here. Submarines always have to make their own bread every day because we can't store bread too easily, it takes up too much room. Um, but then you also have ovens down there, we'll get to that in a second. Storage up above, so you name it. So you got cranberry cocktail, juice drink, cans up here, but you can put dishes, plates, whatever you need to store. Plates would go, serving dishes would go in here. And then, pardon me, we also have a deep fryer right here, making our fried food. So this area up here, um, this is not storage, this is access to electrical so everything in the galley runs on electricity and that all runs through this area here so you can see the diagrams of the griddle left and half right half ovens um all of that all gets controlled out of right here so all right then you have food mixer rather large one you are cooking for 105 people four meals although you usually only eat three of the meals in a given day um, but four meals made for 105 people every day. And then you have, for example, without knocking over our mannequin, uh, oven here. So just wide oven, about the standard depth. And that's the equipment that they had in the galley to prep their food with. So uh, exhaust fan overhead. So, okay. So I'm going to go out this side and go into the other side. And we'll take a look at, oh, before we go, the dumb waiter. So we mentioned this in the... Uh, wardroom episode, this is how the food actually got up to the to the officers. Um, since modern boats, the wardrooms on one side of the galley and the uh, cruise messes on the other, so they serve out of whichever side they need to. On uh, on Nautilus, because she's the diesel boat design, U-boat uh, design, the wardroom's actually above, and so they have to get food up there, you don't want to drop it down ladders. They have the dumbwaiter. So control via this control panel here, so up, down, Basically send it up to the wardroom, call it back down to you. It doesn't go any further down. And this is the dumb waiter itself. It can go up and down. So food would get placed into here, set up, dishes put back, returned, and off you go. That's the dumb waiter. All right, now we're gonna go back out and go on to the dishwashing side, and then we'll go down into the storeroom area. So in here, this is a water fountain or a Navy, uh, terms it's called a uh, scuttlebutt because that's where people gather to uh, gossip so storage just dishes by the way this is an emergency bill holder so if you ever had a casualty on board so or just a normal so zoom in here real fast so dive surface switch to ultra quiet because you need to be quiet around a contact that can detect you going to deep submergence uh, depth charge ventilation fire collision general emergency what have you you would open this up, go to the, the spot, um, and then we don't have them on board anymore. 
Um, but that would be what you would then grab out. It's a laminated copy. You have some grease pencil, like a, a china marker. Um, that would be something that you would be familiar with. And then you would mark that up as you go through and make sure you got your quick procedure done uh, to make sure you're fighting, combating the casualty as best you can. Um, so over here, so this is the uh, garbage ejector, the garbage disposal unit. So we talked about this uh, in, uh, I believe it was episode five, when we were talking about uh, Nautilus going to the North Pole and they had something get fouled. So this is the garbage disposal unit. Um, and this is the tube that goes all the way to the bottom of the hull. You have uh, the muzzle valve there, and then you have uh, excuse me, breech valve here, and then you have the muzzle valve uh, down below, and something had gotten fouled there. And so what you do with this is you would take all the garbage that you've got, you've compressed it down, you put it into uh, uh, little container wraps, and you weight it down and you shoot it at the bottom of the ship. And that's how we got rid of the garbage. It's still how we get rid of the garbage. Um, however, one of the bags caught in, one of, in the exit valve and they couldn't shut the valve. So they tried everything they could, blowing it out, flushing, flushing, didn't work. Uh, and so they eventually surfaced the ship. They evacuated everybody out of this compartment. Um, so above and below, so officers were all out of their areas. Uh, crews and chiefs were all out of these areas. They shut all the hatches. They pressurized the compartment up so that the pressure in here was greater than the sea pressure below. And then they opened this hatch up here so that they could clear the hatch down below uh, by running, pushing air through and then uh, uh, using mechanical objects like long reach rods to dislodge it. Um, and that's how they kept the ship from sinking as you opened you know, a hatch in the bottom. Um, as long as the uh, hatch below is, o is uh, open and the top is shut, no water is going to come in. It's like holding a cup upside down in a bathtub or a pool. Um, but the second you punch a hole in the top, water comes in. So they had to have pressure up top to uh, prevent that from happening. But that's the garbage, garbage disposal. Shut this up. Okay. And then over here, you have the dishwashing machine. So this is what they would actually wash the dishes with. Uh, and then dishes would be stored uh, or stowed up here and then taken out for the meals. So, and then just more storage of things throughout here, silverware, utensils, whatever you would, you would need. Okay, with that, we're gonna go on down into the uh, storerooms and the chill box, freeze box area. All right, bear with me. I will do my best to keep you off from getting too much vertigo as I climb down this ladder here. So. So, down in the storeroom, we have this area set up. Um, it's storage of some of our parts that we may need. And then uh, also uh, some of our cleaning supplies, rooms and stuff back there. And then this is actually a pump. So should we ever take on water, one of the things you have to do is any ship is have a way of dewatering your, uh, de yourself. So this is not normal ship's equipment. This is stored, uh, installed afterwards. So this is a big pump. We've never ever had to use it, but just one of those things, better, better be safe than sorry. So we have a pump down here to uh, pull that out should we need it. Pull water out should we need it. Okay, uh, so you've got refrigeration plants. So that's kind of what this is over here. Um, and then you have a, a valve station over here for uh, water purification. Um, so this is how we uh, purify the water, make sure that everything is safe to drink. Ventilation flowing throughout and then over here. So I cannot go into this because it's a confined space But I can open the door and show you so You have a freezer and chill box. Let's see if I can get a little bit better light in here for you So I'm not sure how well you can see but uh, so freezers one side and then Shut this up chill box on the other, although you could convert them to be two freezers if you need to. For example, on modern uh, fast stacks, when we have to uh, uh, deploy, we get rid of our chill box and just have two freezers because a chill box only lasts for a, you know, a couple of weeks at most, really one week before you gotta get rid of all the food in there, whereas a freezer lasts much longer. So we lose our fridge and just have a, a, a freezer, so. But anyway, so this is what uh, is down here. So this would be store dry stores, it'd be stored over there. And you can stack them up wherever you need to, as long as you don't impede access to uh, valve stations. 
and that's what this area was used for. That hatch that I told you, by the way, to remember, that's right here. So that's how you would get out is up through that hatch. So, okay. Uh, with that, I think we're done down here. We'll go back up and uh, talk about where we're going next week. All right, so that does it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll be going into uh, the rest of the birthing. Uh, and then following that, we'll be going under the superstructure topside and then to the bridge. So uh, thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the tour. And uh, bye.